everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So you guys asked for it, so I'm bringing it to you and that is my haul of products that I picked up during the Credo Beauty sale. I picked up a lot of things. I was waiting for the sale because I knew it was going to come sometime in November it's when the Credo Friends and Family sale comes around. And I also know that this is the only like discount that Credo does throughout the year. Um, they'll do gifts with purchases, but this is really the only discount. So I decided to take full advantage of it, made a list, picked up a whole bunch of products. I actually did, I guess like two purchases during the sale. I did one physically in store and then I did another one online. Some products were not available online, but were available in my store. So I used that to my advantage. Also, there were some products that I wanted to swatch and figure out the shade that I wanted. So I went in store to do that. I guess I also made a purchase online because it would have been kind of embarrassing to do the full purchase in store because then everyone in the store would have judged me for what I purchased. But now I'm putting it on the internet, so I don't know how that's any better. But anyway, um, I do want to say that um, I really purchased a lot of these products because I have this channel and I review products and I test them out for you guys. And this is a good way for me to be able to acquire new products at a better price. Also, I want to give you guys such a huge, huge thank you for using my links during the sale. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. What I made from you guys using the affiliate links is going directly back into my channel and allowing me to purchase and try out more products for you guys. Also, I want to improve my lighting setup um, at some point, so that's something I'm thinking about and looking into as well. The problem is that I do live in New England in Boston, so the days are really short during the winter and the sun sets really early, so it's actually a little bit tricky for me to film in the afternoon, but I'd like to get some better lighting to help with that. But anyway, once again, thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my channel. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this haul. And some of the products I have used a bit, so I can give you like a little bit of a first impression on them. Um, some of the products I've like not really used or like barely tested out, so I'll let you know about that as well. So the first product I picked up was, um, thanks to you guys, I asked, do you have a lash curler that you like? I did get some recommendations about the Plume Lash Curler, so here it is. Um, I've been trying this out a bit, which is why it's out of the box. Actually, this lash curler was not available online, but there were like two of them in my store, so I was able to pick one up. I like it. It does do a good job of curling my lashes. It was a little bit of a learning curve figuring out how to position it to best fit my eye shape, but I like it. Like, it feels really sturdy. The grip is really nice. I have very small hands, so this actually, like, fit in my hands and I can use it very well. It does seem to curl my lashes well. Definitely still trying out, still getting used to using a lash curler because I really have not used one regularly ever so i'm still getting used to that but i do like this one i also picked up from oleo e oso i think that's how you say the brand one of these balms and i have what shade do i have i have balm number nine I, it doesn't say on here what shade it is i do know the shade i still have the box so this is the shade spring i'm using this on my cheeks today it's this really nice pink color it looks very bright in the um tube but when you swatch it it's actually pretty sheer i wanted this for that like light flush of color that like glossier glowy i don't know makeup look that i've been seeing a lot of and i really do think that this works well for that i've used it a few times i'm using it today i'm still getting used to it um i have found that this product works better when i'm using a less full coverage foundation because it is a sheer product as well. It just seems to vibe better when my foundation's not as full coverage, but I am really enjoying this. I will be testing this out some more. Also, Oleo Yoso came out with a number of lip products. I'm quite intrigued by the brand overall, so I'm going to try and get a hold of those and also test those out and then kind of do like a brand overview at some point, so stay tuned for that. But so far, I am enjoying this. But you have to go in knowing that it is a sheer product. So this product was a bit of a spontaneous purchase for me. Um, but you know, I saw it, I swatched it, I'd been eyeing it and I decided to pick it up. I actually got a Carewise highlighter. Um, I have the shade in Ravishing. So it's this like kind of pinky highlighter. I liked it because 
It had a slight pink undertone to it, which I love the Crop Natural Press Highlight in the shade Mood and Dust Monty, which is a bit of a pink tone to it. Um, so I thought I would like this, and when I swatched it in store, I really did like the shade of it. I had looked at their other shade. I can't think what that one's called. They have one other shade of their highlight, and I'd looked at that one in the past and it had been too deep, but this one is a good shade for my fair skin. Um, I'll swatch it here for you. I've got it right next to the Oleo Yoso um, blush, but you can see it just kind of catching the light a bit. That's what I have on my cheeks today. I really like it. I mean, I think that Cara Weiss makes amazing cream products. I was originally going to pick up one of their blushes, but the shade I wanted, which was Abundance, actually sold out um, online and I didn't pick it up in store for some reason when I was there. So I went with this instead, but I am really happy with this. Um, another great Cara Weiss product. It was a good time to get Cara Weiss on sale because Cara Weiss doesn't go on sale often. So definitely a great product. Some more Cara Weiss products I picked up are actually this set here. I took the lip glosses out of the little boxes they came in, but there was this, they came in this bag with this curly paper, which I actually need to get rid of. I hate this curly paper. I mean, I like it in that it's environmentally friendly and it is so much better than a lot of other packing, especially plastic. But this stuff is so messy. I always end up with these curly things all over my apartment and my husband and I are always like rounding them up because they come in the putty war box. They come in the boxes of so many brands. I prefer the crinkle, the like sheets of crinkle paper, which Credo wraps their stuff in because um, it's sheets and so it's less liable to get away from you. Actually looking down on the ground, there's some crinkle paper on the ground. Um, but this set was really great. I think it was like $25. And it came with uh, three of the Cara Weiss lip glosses. These are like little mini ones. But honestly, I haven't gone through an entire lip gloss yet. And so I figured this was a good way to test them out. The shades that it came with are Admire, Courage, and Cherish. Um, I have the shade Admire on today. It's a very comfortable lip gloss. It's not super pigmented, which I'd heard that the Cara Weiss lip glosses were more on the sheer side rather than pigmented side but it did give a nice amount of color to my lips and it's not at all sticky. This is the first time I've tried it out so I can't really tell you how long it wears, um, but it's a very comfortable formula and it feels really nice on. And I believe these are still available at Credo, like you just, they wouldn't be on sale now, but it's a really great way to test out the lip gloss. I picked up some products from Tower Beauty or from Tower 28. I did pick up one of their lip glosses. This is in the shade XOXO. Like I love the Tower 28 packaging. Something about this is so like glossier, so millennial. Like I really just like this. I am shocked actually by how much I like this lip gloss. I wore it for a full day the other day and I really like it. So it's definitely sheer. I've got a swatch here. It's definitely sheer, but like it packs a punch in terms of color. Like I think this is an excellent lip gloss. If you want something sheer, but still has a lot of color, like I think this is so fun. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. There are a whole bunch of other shades. There's some limited edition shades for the holidays, um, but so far I'm really liking this. I will be bringing you a video all about Tower 28 coming soon-ish, you know, relatively soon but so far definitely enjoying this. I also, so that I can do the video, picked up their cream blush. I have the shade Magic Hour, which is this kind of, um, oh, if I can get this open, it's this kind of like, I'd say neutral rose pink. It's not, it's not too pink. It's got a little bit more of a warmth to it. Um, I'll swatch this quickly here. I've worn this a few times. It's quite, as much as the lip gloss is sheer, this blush is quite pigmented. So you can see here, I just did a tiny little swatch. Um, but it does wear well on the cheeks. I like it. They did have a couple other shades of the blush. Um, one of them is like a really bright pink. I can't remember the name of that shade, but I swatched that one in store and I didn't pick it up because it was so bright of a pink. It was actually a little bit hard for me to blend it out on my hand because I have such fair skin. But I think if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, that shade would be beautiful. But for me, this one was much easier to work with. And I really felt like I would be less likely to look like a clown. I also picked this up. So this, <laughs> this is kind of intriguing. This is the Tower 28 Super Dew. It's in the shade No Shade. This 
is interesting. It's basically a balm that you use as a highlighter, but it has no shimmer in it. So it really is just the creamy formula in itself that's catching the light. You can see it kind of catching the light a little bit. This is an interesting product. I've heard tricks of like, I think supermodels or something, putting like Vaseline on or something, some sort of balmy product that didn't have any shimmer as a highlight. And I like the idea of it because it gives you that very, very natural um, glow because it doesn't have any shimmer in it. I'm still playing around with it and getting used to using it, but I like the idea of it. I'm, I'm, I'm into the idea. So still trying this out, but so far I'm intrigued. So also not surprisingly, I picked up one of the Kosas lip glosses. I ended up with the shade Malibu, which is this kind of more pinky shade. I was looking at the shade, I think it's called like dip or something. And I almost got that one. But I decided I thought when I was looking at it and swatching it in the store that it was a little bit too brown and I just thought this was a more flattering shade for my skin tone. So I definitely do like it. It's quite pigmented. It's not very sticky and it wears decently well, but it's not like super long wearing. I mean, it is a lip gloss after all. You can definitely see the level of pigmentation there. So it is quite nice. It's a very much a kind of rosy pink shade. I like it a lot. I think it's a nice formula. It honestly reminds me a lot of the Fit Glow um, lip serums, except it's a little bit more pigmented than those. But in terms of the way it feels on your lips, it's very similar to that. Glad I picked this up. I'm, I'm so far, I'm liking it. I don't know. As you can tell, I've been into lip glosses recently, which is weird because I normally don't like lip gloss, but I think it's because we're moving into fall and winter and my lips are just dry because it's cold outside that I really am gravitating towards lip glosses because they just feel very comfortable on. The last product I picked up, and then I'll get to a couple of like sample slash point reward things I ended up with, is this set. So I ended up getting this Herbivore Jewel Box Mini Facial Oil and Serum Set. So I've tried out the Lapis Oil before, which was, yeah, it was okay. Um, I've tried out a sample of the Prism Oil, really like that, been super curious about the back, Baki Ch Chil Chul, how do you say that? Um, Cause this is kind of like a retinol alternative. Um, I've heard good things about the Phoenix and Emerald oils. So I was curious to try this out. And this is a pretty good deal, all things considered, cause you get all five of these and they're all expensive oils in the full size. And also I have so much skincare at the moment. I mean, I have a ton of makeup, but I have so much skincare at the moment. I'm really trying to get through some of my products. I almost bought some Tata Harper products, but I've never tried Tata Harper, by the way. Uh, so if Tata Harper ever wants to send me PR, I'm totally open to it. But my concern with purchasing full-size skincare is I have a lot of skincare currently. I wanna finish some of it up. And so I felt like this was a good compromise where I could try out some new products, um, but also not commit to a full size. So this is actually really great. I think this would be a great gift as well. It's a little bit pricier, but if you want like a really nice skincare gift, this is a good option. I like Herbivore because Herbivore is a very accessible, non-toxic beauty brand um, in that it's available at Sephora, it's available at Credo, it's available at a lot of places and people have seen it around. So it's not as intimidating as like a brand they've never heard of. So I think that's a great option as a gift and I'm looking forward to trying this out. Also, I'm doing a bunch of traveling. <laughs> These sample sizes are ideal for travel as well. So on to products that I got as like gifts of purchase. So the first one I got as a sample was actually a decent sized sample. This is the based body lotion and this is the mint scent. So I haven't tried this out. I haven't really heard of this brand, but I thought, yeah, it's a sample. I'll try it out. Also, it's such a convenient little size for traveling. So I'm looking forward to using that. Also, one of the point perks was a mini, which is so cute, of the Kosas Rosewater Lipstick, which I have to say, I've heard so many things about this color and I tried it out the other day and the color is so beautiful. I understand why people are obsessed with this color. Here, I need to swatch it for you guys because it's a good one. My hand is like so covered in swatches. Right there is the Kosas Rosewater. So it's such a pretty pink. It's a little bit more on the purpley side, but I love it. I understand why so many, so many people were into it. Also a point reward was this Pi Echium and Argon Gentle Eye Cream. And this is a full size, by the way. So good job on Credo for this reward. Um, 
but I've heard so many th good things about Pi Skin Care about it being so gentle and great for sensitive skin and I really have not tried out many of their products so I thought this was a great way to try out a product. It was a point reward so I didn't have to, I mean I spent money so I could get the points but I didn't have to like spend money to pick it up. Hey, whatever. It made sense in my head. But um, I'm excited to try this out. I haven't yet because I have quite a few eye creams going at the minute, but I'm definitely looking forward to testing this out. Detox Market was also having a sale of 20% off at the time. I did pick up two things from the Detox Market. I picked up the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. And the reason I picked it up from there is because Credo does not carry the shade Arrowroot. Credo, if you're watching, carry the full shade range of that concealer. I don't know why they don't carry the shade Arrowroot because they carry the shades Sable and uh, Formentera in the True Skin Serum Foundation and Arrowroot is like the corresponding shade to those foundation shades. I don't know why they don't have it, but they don't. So if you're looking to pick up that shade and you're fair like I am, um, Sephora does carry it in stores and online. I checked and then also Detox Market. And I also picked up another 10 second eyeshadow from Detox Market. I can't remember what the shade name is, but it's kind of like a maroony shade. It's not something I would wear every day, but I thought around the holidays it would just be so pretty and so fun. So I picked it up because I was picking up the concealer and I was like, I might as well. Also, I do want to say I didn't end up doing any purchasing during the Sephora VIB sale. I thought about it, the discount wasn't that great. Even though I could get Lawless or Rowan Beauty at a discount, which you normally can't get it at a discount, I decided not to because in some ways, as much as I want to try out those brands, and I would gladly try them out if they sent me PR, it's also hard for me to purchase them because there are so many brands in non-toxic beauty that I have yet to try and that have cleaner ingredients than those two brands and so I feel kind of conflicted about it. I don't know, I want to try out their products but I also have so many other brands that I want to try out. And so at the end of the day, I decided to just, you know, purchase more things at the Credo sale and not at the Sephora VIB sale. So that's what's going on there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys picked up during the sale because I know you guys did some purchasing. Um, let me know what products you're excited about and um, also let me know what things do you want to see full reviews on first. Um, let me know all of that and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Um, let's try to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you're watching this video and I'm not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know someone that you think would enjoy my channel recommend my channel to them. Also check out my Instagram. My handle is at Naturally Beautiful Girl for more non-toxic beauty content. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!